Hi guys, welcome back to Paperless Books, a bookkeeping company based in Canada. And today I wanted to show you how to record your HST, GST sales taxes using Wave Accounting. Now this is actually a simple process. And if you follow these steps, you should be fine in being able to see how, many, um, how much in taxes you actually uh, collected versus how much you paid and the difference being how much you're going to remit or get a refund from the government of Canada. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into the settings of Wave Accounting. We're going to scroll down and then under accounting you're going to see sales taxes. So click sales taxes. Now I already created two uh, sales taxes here. I'm just going to delete them and do them all over again so that you know what exactly I did. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create two sales taxes. Uh, one is for purchases and one is for sales. So we're going to click create a sales tax. The tax name for the first one, so this is going to be for the sales tax. We're going to call it uh, sales or HST on sales. And then the short firm, just going to call it sales HST. You can put in a description, however, it's optional. And you can also put in your tax number. This is also optional. Um, you also have the option to show this tax number on invoices if you're using wave accounting so to submit invoices to your customers um, if you're in Canada this sales tax is recoverable um, this is not a compound tax and then you just have to put in your tax rate percentage in our case because we're in Ontario we're going to put 13 percent and then we're going to click save so now we're going to do it for our purchases as well so the same thing, HST and purchases, purchase HST. Uh, this is also going to be 13% or whatever uh, percentage that your province allocates for sales tax or purchase taxes. And then we're going to click save. That's pretty much all there is to set up your sales tax. So how do we apply this to our transactions? So we're going to go into our transactions, accounting, transactions. Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, two transactions here that we want to add our sales tax to. So one is for expenses, and then the other, uh, well, expenses, office supplies, and then the other is for um, sales, uh, a product sale. So in order to add taxes to this, um, what Wave Accounting does is include, it, in, it always includes the taxes into the transactions. So for this one, we're going to go into expenses. We're going to click at the bottom under category, include sales tax. And then we're going to pick purchase tax for it because it's something that we purchase. It's an expense. Okay, so we're going to click that. We're going to click update. And then we're going to click save. Uh, for the sales, we're going to do something similar. We're going to click include sales tax. Instead of purchase, we're going to include HST on sales. And then we're going to click update and then save. So now we've allocated both our purchase HST and also our sales HST. Uh, to our transactions. Now, how do we view these in our reports? These transactions are going to be found in your uh, balance sheet. So we're going to go into reports. We're going to go into our balance sheet. We're going to click show details. And then if you go into the liability section, you're going to see the HST that was collected on sales and also the HST that was collected on purchases. And the difference between the two is going to be what you're going to remit to the CRA or to whatever government agency that you have to remit taxes to. So one thing to note about this is that unfortunately in your chart of accounts, you cannot select um, an account to automatically include HST, GST. And I think this is one of the downfalls 
of way of accounting. You actually have to go into each single transaction and include the HST GST to it. Um, hopefully, Wave Accounting can make changes to that, but until then, that's how you're going to record the sales taxes on your purchases and also on your sales. Now, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below. And of course, like this video if you thought it was helpful, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.